Megan Murphy is a leading Canadian feminist based in Vancouver, author of The Feminist Current website. In November of 2018, she booked a space with the Vancouver Public Library, or VPL, to hold an event on January the 10th, 2019. A few weeks later, VPL issued a public statement saying they did not agree with the views of Feminist Current, and they said that Megan Murphy's opinions were concerning. They didn't say why, but uh, Megan Murphy has opinions that are offensive to, the, to transgender people. December of 2018, VPL says that there are concerns about public protests and demands $2,047.50 in security fees. It's the same old story, censorship by security fees. This story plays itself out on university campuses as well as public libraries across Canada. A space is supposed to be available to all people regardless of viewpoint or opinion. Somebody books the space. People who disagree with the viewpoint being expressed threaten protests, and protests can be legitimate, peaceful counter-protests, but quite often uh, they're not legitimate because they turn into obstruction and disruption and physical blockading, which are not valid exercises of free expression. And then typically the university or the library responds by demanding thousands of dollars in security fees from the event organizers. But they're not asking the questions they should be asking, like who is causing the risk to security? Is it the people who want to exercise their legal rights to express their opinions by hosting and organizing an event? Or is it the people who are threatening protests? And the answer is obvious to that. Why should people who want only to exercise their democratic rights to express their opinions have to pay for the bad behavior of those who engage in illegal conduct like blocking and obstructing and blockading? These are questions which the Vancouver Public Library may end up answering in court. I'm John Carpe. Thanks for listening.